Today I'm going to be showing you guys five reasons why I had to delete all my YouTube shorts and show you analytics to back up each of these claims. So the first reason why I deleted all my YouTube shorts is I was getting a lot of views and subscribers, but they were not watching my longer videos. And I know this is fairly new to the YouTube family, the YouTube shorts things, and they're trying to figure it out. But it, it just wasn't worth the compromise. And I'm going to show you some, some of these things that was happening, right? So this is a video of Christian Poluski attempting to get sturdy. It's a short. As you can see, out of nowhere, it just blew up, right? And this was around the World Cup. So I already knew this was going to this was gonna blow up, right? And as you can see, I got 20,000 subscribers from this video, right? 20,000. That's a lot of people within a span of... 145 days that's a lot a lot of subscribers guys a lot 5.9 billion million views we're gonna get to this 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 estimated revenues section in a second i'm, I'm gonna talk about that in, 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 in another point of mine but we're not even focused on that right so this is example number one i was getting all like it literally went viral out of nowhere right so example number two 600,000 views off of this one short, right? 1.5 thousand subscribers, right? I don't get nearly as much subscribers as this on a regular video, right? Look, again, out of nowhere, right? 20, 30 days in, it just blows up. It's take, it starts to take off, right? It starts to take off and then it, it flatlines, right? It flatlines. But all of these people that are watching my videos are not going to my regular videos, right? So this is a, a video about the smoothest 30 move, right? And at the end of these videos, I would link the tutorial on how to get sturdy because a lot of you guys know me for teaching sturdy tutorials. So I'm like, all right, if I'm gonna use shorts, let me at least link it to my, my longer video so it makes sense, right, to why I, my videos will correlate and get views together and I can't just be like, oh, I tried YouTube shorts and it didn't make my longer views like longer videos get get views, but I didn't but I'm I didn't make the effort to even like plug in my long videos. I did all of that. I put YouTube shorts and I made sure I linked my regular videos, how to get sturdy, into those videos. So they 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 are side by side. The the content I make as shorts and as regular videos are basically the same thing, right? I'm just dancing more in my uh, shorts videos. Um, another example over here, we have another video. Out of nowhere, it blows up 38,000 views, right? Day 33, and then it just takes off on the 35th day, 100,000, 200,000, 600, 600 subscribers, 600 subscribers, right? And as you can see, it just, this is the trend, right? And eventually it flatlines. That's another thing I do not like about YouTube Shorts. It has a lifespan, right? As opposed to a longer video, you can keep getting views on those videos, on your regular videos. But with YouTube Shorts, eventually it is like a plateau. It just stops getting views. Like it's just done, right? So there's, that's that's something else I'm gonna talk about at the, at the end of the video too. Another example here, I have countless examples, guys, because Everyone is hype about YouTube Shorts right now, and I just feel like some people should know this, right? 500,000 views on this. I got 3,000 subscribers off this job. 3,000, man. Another sturdy move, and uh, and as you can see, like, I'm going to just play one of these shorts, right? I'm going to play it on mute because it's probably copyrighted. You know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 they got their hot dog. D, D. D, D, uh, yeah, go crazy, yeah, shake your butt, right? Now, I'm going to show you what I did in the comments, right? But basically, I can't show it right now because the video is obviously private, but I will put, I will pin a link of the longer video of the hot dog sturdy move tutorial, right? Since it's a hot dog video, right? This was the, the move where you slide on your toes and I basically linked the move that I did in the short as a longer video, as a tutorial. And like, I already knew a lot of those views that I was getting was not from the shorts. You know what I'm saying? It was not from the shorts feed. And last but not least, I'm gonna show you one more example. 230,000 views on this video. Out of nowhere, it starts to take off, right? So I, I already have back to back, like I, I get how, I kind of get how shorts work, right? And I know what works for my channel. And I was getting mad views, mad views, like a lot of views, right? 
but they were not transferring to my longer videos, right? So that was like that was uh, that was a uh, a, a no-brainer for me. I was like, nah, I don't know if I want to keep doing this, right? If I'm making videos, I'm taking time out of my day to make short videos, right? Because YouTube is like incentivizing it and say, hey, shorts is the move right now. I'm boosting the crap out of shorts, and you see people who just make straight shorts. No long videos. And I'm going to show you reason number two why making straight shorts is probably not a good idea if you're trying to do YouTube full time. Money is trash. It is literal trash. They said in February that they'll be giving 45% of their revenue earned from shorts. But as you can see, let's go back to the first one where I got 5.9 million views, right? To be fair, this one was in November, right? So this is before the February update, but I had 68 cents from 5.9 million views, right? And a lot of people are like, okay, this is before the update. So let me show you guys a, a more recent video, right? So this is January, right? And it goes into, a lot of these videos are going viral after February. So they're still, so the views after February is what this revenue is adding up to. So as you can see, out of 600,000, nearly 700,000 views, I only made $41, right? If I had a video, a regular video that had this amount of views, I probably would have made anywhere from $800 to $1,000 off of this video, right? Big difference. And I know, I know, I know shorts is like 11, 12 second videos, zero to a minute. I get that. Honestly, considerable. But I was at least expecting like, okay, if the if shorts is is shorter than a longer video, at least it'll be like half of the earnings I make. So if I'm supposed to make 800 off this, John, I would expect to make like $400 off that. I would have been okay with that because you get views so easy on YouTube shorts that if, if you earn less, but it's reasonable, then it's like, okay. Like with this method, you have to earn like a hundred million views to make a like three thousand dollars, and I can show that too. So look at this thread right here, ladies and gentlemen. Seventy-four point nine million views on YouTube Shorts to get three thousand dollars. That is a lot of views, yo. That is not easy to do. You know what I'm saying? Like people can say, oh, YouTube Shorts is easy. Da -da -da -da, boom, 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 bomb. Yes, it's easier than making a, a longer video and it's easier to go viral than a longer, a simple, like a regular video. But 74 million views is not easy, my guy. I'm just saying. That is not easy. You, you practically got to get a viral hit back to back to back to back to back. And my highest viewed short right now is 5.9 million in November. You expect me to crack these numbers all the time to make $3,000? That's that's just not feasible. I don't see that as I don't see that as feasible. I don't think that's that's fair. And I'm just saying that. Let me know if I'm bugging. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you going to be like, "Damn, bro. It's you too short. You can you could do it easier than you like Bro, a lot of YouTube shorts now is spammy content. You know what I'm saying? This is probably what this guy does. He probably like puts spammy comments, like spammy videos of like Minecraft or something. I'm pretty sure that's what he does and, and basically finesses the system out of shorts, right? Let me let me take a look at his channel and, and see um what he's doing on the over here. Let me see. Six facts. Here we go. Well these melt look. I, exactly what I predicted is what I'm seeing here. Look, this is the kind of content that will get you 75.9 million views for a million three thousand dollars. Look at this. Do you actually know any of these facts? Sometimes a bee will sting someone, but then actually regret its decision. They will then slowly try to pull the stick. You telling me I have to make videos like this to make 75 million views? No, I'm not doing that. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's it's easy to do, but it's like, bro, it's not valuable content. And I like to provide value in my content. Like, what is... I get nothing out of this. Literally nothing out of this. This is, this is like, bottom, bottom trash content. Sorry. That is just the facts, right? 
Another example right here. 600,000. Oh, wait. I just covered this, right? Another example. 500,000 views, right? This video took off during the February update. So it, this is a perfect example. I earned $39 out of 500,000 views. That is insane. Trash, right? Trash. So this is why I would not recommend doing straight shorts if you're trying to make a living off YouTube. It is just not a good idea unless you're making content like this on the side and you have like two channels where you're going crazy with this joint. You can make five, six videos like this every day spamming these type of videos like that. You can make a living off of it. But if you're doing something that takes time out of your day, like recording some dance moves and th that takes energy, you know what I'm saying? And you get 39 cash, it's just not feasible. Another example, 500,000 views, right? I got $17, right? You can see it. This is after the February update. After the February update, it went up, right? Another example here, hold on. 230,000 views, $12, right? I posted this around January 13th, right? And it started taking off after the February update, right? And most of these shorts, I'm probably making around like four cents per view. Like it's, it's really bad, you know what I'm saying? And last but not least, 5.9 million views, 68 cents. Like, let me know if that's something you, you think is fair in the comments right now. The amount of views you get and the amount of money you get out of those views, is just it just doesn't make sense to me. Hey, man. I'm just saying. Might be an unpopular opinion, but for me, it is a, it, I'm, it doesn't, and like, gives me incentive to, to keep on doing YouTube shorts. Reason number three why I stopped doing YouTube shorts, right? It was messing up my analytics. So let me go over here real quick and show you what I'm talking about, right? So there was a point in time, right? I could not tell if my YouTube long, like my regular videos were doing good or my YouTube, whatchamacallit, shorts were carrying my channel. And I'm gonna show you it right now. February, it was around February, right? So, as you can see right here, right? Right here, I had 120,000 views. And some of these views right here are because of my shorts. I was getting over 100,000 views every day, right? And then over here, you can see a big bump. Big bump in views, right? I had one of my shorts. I had a few, like four or five shorts going stupid viral. And this is around the time I was like, I bet. Let me see what, 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 uh, what, what videos are doing well on my channel, right? When I clicked on this, this area over here where it says top content, because you can see like what was going viral on my channel, it was straight shorts, straight, straight shorts going crazy. And remember what I said about the money in shorts, it is doo doo, right? And even though I was getting views off of them shorts, they were not getting me views on my longer videos. So I was getting all these views from shorts. And I'm like, I couldn't see, I literally couldn't see like how my regular videos are doing. Down here you can see, smoothest 30 moves. What time are you seeing this? How to get 30 in 2022. New 30 moves unlocked. New moves you've never seen before. Like this whole section right here was straight shorts. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, that's not, that's no bueno. I don't like that, right? I'm over here getting mad views and I was getting inflated views, but it wasn't like adding up to the revenue that a brother was supposed to be making. So I'm getting all these views, all these subscribers, but when I post a regular video, I'm getting less views, you know what I'm saying? Because I was slowly turning into like a, a shorts channel. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to keep doing this. So I said, this was around the time I decided, I said, let me delete all my YouTube shorts so I can see my actual views, right? And my actual views is around 121 to like anywhere from 60,000 views a day to like 100K, right? I know if I'm doing 100K views a day, I'm doing really good, but... 60k views to like a hundred thousand views is like 
my baseline, right? Anything past that is like, yo, you going crazy right now. You you taking over YouTube, right? You that guy, right? But this this 300k, I looked at that. I was like, oh shoot, I'm snapping. And then I had to I had to sit back real quick. I was like, hold on, let me let me look at this, right? And then I went over to the to the monetization column, and I made like ten more dollars than I would usually make, right? Even though I got three times the views. A hundred, no, let me three times. You know what I'm saying? Two hundred thousand more views than regular. If you get two hundred thousand view, more views than regular, you gotta make more bread, like significantly more. Like, say for example, I was making three hundred a day on YouTube, right? Off of a hundred thousand views, right? If I go up to three hundred thousand, that should be like six, five to six hundred dollars a day. But I got ten more dollars, bro. Ten more dollars because my YouTube shorts was going crazy. Ten to like twenty, ten to thirty dollars more. You know what I'm saying? Money is money. I'm not being ungrateful. I'm just saying it just for me. It's not the right move because my brother got bills, brother. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I couldn't see my views. It was messing up my analytics, and it just wasn't. It just it just started messing up like i couldn't make a judgment of if my regular videos were doing the, what it needed to do and what i needed to change and just i wasn't able to put my regular views in a good direction because i couldn't judge it because i was seeing all these views from youtube shorts but i couldn't see my regular videos because it was taken over by youtube shorts reason number four why I stopped doing YouTube shorts is because a lot of people started watching more of my YouTube shorts than my regular videos. Going back to point number three, they were watching more of my YouTube shorts than my regular videos. So I was essentially turning into a YouTube shorts channel. Like people were in tune more with my shorts than they were my longer videos. So they were hurting the performance of my regular videos so like a lot of my videos started getting less views you know what i'm saying because you can only get so many videos promoted at one time on your channel right and if youtube sees that it youtube shorts is like the thing on your channel is going to start promoting that more than your regular videos so you've got to be careful with that right and me knowing that i was like yeah i don't know if I want my channel to just be shorts focused. At first, I was like, let me see what this February update is gonna do. So let me just smash out mad shorts, right? Most of my shorts is from TikTok, right? I didn't have to do much work. But um, I did that and a lot of people love the TikTok onto YouTube shorts, right? And it was not benefiting my, my, my channel as like in real life like it wasn't realistically benefiting my channel and it wasn't putting me in a position to be benefit me financially and as a creator like it was giving me the views and the numbers and people were knowing my face more but you know me i, I don't care about fame i don't care about you know saying that exposure and that and being in that limelight i just want to help as much people as i want through want to and inspire as much people through dance and i'm just lucky to have a platform like youtube to be able to express myself in that way where i enjoy teaching you guys how to do moves and showing you guys how i dance and interpret music and it just so happens to be my living you know what i'm saying so when i have i, I first of all i didn't want to do youtube shorts as my main thing because i already seen the kind of like um reputation you get from youtube shorts it's very fickle it's volatile you know what i'm saying and youtube being a youtuber is a, already a volatile thing like it can go at any time and i'm well aware of that you know what i'm saying so with that being said i was like if i'm gonna do this youtube thing and shorts is great with views amazing if you just care about getting exposure and you know what i'm saying having as much people know your face as, as possible but if you're trying to like make a decent amount of money on YouTube, 
I feel like longer videos is the way to go. And that leads me on to point number five. There is no longevity as of right now for YouTube shorts. It is, for me, I think it's a bad move for me because first, I can't see my views. The money is dookie, you know what I'm saying? And it's just, it, it, it was taking over my channel. Like, when I see people like, you know what I'm saying, my friends like Shafar, SJC, Dre the Dancer, Almighty Archer, and all these people getting YouTube plaques and things of that nature off of YouTube shorts, it's like, I don't want to sound shady at all. For no, Like, I don't want to sound shady, but it's like, YouTube short views are not the same as YouTube. Like getting a hundred thousand subscribers from YouTube shorts and getting a hundred thousand subscribers as a YouTube, like from YouTube long videos is not the same. It's not the same, right? Your a hundred thousand subscribers from YouTube shorts is equivalent to like a thousand subscribers, right? On as, as a long form creator, right? <clears throat> But a hundred thousand, you know what I'm saying, YouTube long form like subscribers will be more impactful than someone who has a hundred thousand subscribers off of YouTube shorts, right? And yeah, that's just how I feel. And I don't I don't wanna come off as somebody that's being shady and saying that, oh, they don't deserve their plaques. I'm just saying that. It is so easy now to get 100,000 subscribers, even to get a million subscribers, but it just doesn't hold the same weight as someone that, that is a long form creator. You know what I'm saying? Like you have more of a choke hold on your fan base when you're making longer videos because they get to know you more. You know what I'm saying? There's so much more substance in a long video, in a regular YouTube video, as opposed to you can only do so much in a span of zero to one minute. It's like it's got to be quick cookie cutter dopamine hit videos. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I don't think it's a great move to do YouTube shorts right now. But I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I just know that for me, it just doesn't work. And those are my reasons as to why I deleted all my YouTube shorts. And if it gets better, maybe I'll try it again. But as of right now, I will not be doing any more YouTube shorts. That's just how I feel. But I love you guys so much. Uh, let me know if you guys want a video on my hair journey and how I was able to go from like crew cut to, to lots very quickly. Or you guys want a video on like uh, five viral dance moves you need to know in 2023 or a five reasons why you suck at dancing. <laughs> and I'll provide that for you. I love you guys so much. New video next Tuesday, and we're out of here. No.